Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the place to pray. Um, it's May with G rated games, and uh, came in just in time for a load screen. Always a good time. Um, so, last video we had um, started the December quest to try and find our way to uh, escape from Talos 1. We're now um, <clears throat> gonna have to progress with the main storyline in order to get to that point. So um, that's what we're gonna start with. We're gonna try and get to the atrium, um, which is where we need to be in order to access Alex's safe. Um, so I haven't done anything since. I haven't run around and done anything without you. Ah, shoot. Those things are gonna be the death of me. Okay. Oh, I should set that up too. Um, so this is Psychotronics. Um, a lot of places we still can't enter. Okay, so when I was telling you about the helmet, I told you I'd show you where I got it, and this is where. So you go in through the... So, usually. Uh, so you go into the clean room preparation. Female side. Male side only if you have the leverage perk. Or a mod. So you go around. You probably didn't see me there. I wonder if it was no, I didn't think so. Hello, Doctor. And then on the other side you can get into the male side, which is a little bit more messy. I noticed in one of my videos that there was a mimic on the ceiling that I completely missed. So I'm wondering if he's still around. I mean, you'd think he'd got to be, right? Oh, well, there's the mimic in the toilet. I wonder if we can just flush him. <laughs> Gross. Oh, that was... Okay. So you go into this hole. She'll be holding a lantern at first, and then she'll drop it, and it pretty much says, hey, go in this hole. And uh, over here, you'll get attacked by some mimics, and this unfortunate gentleman here is the one who has the helmet. So you just take it off him, and there you go. You have the helmet. So that's the way to get the helmet. I wonder where that dude went. Okay, so apparently he vanished into thin air, I suppose. No, he's gonna pop up randomly when I'm least expecting it. There he is. Whoa, that was convenient. You see that? It flew right at me where I needed it to be. Okay, so more quarantine for everybody being dead. Okay. So, after you get the helmet, of course, you come in here, and there's a few type in the scan in these um, containers. Um, obviously, don't really need to do that. Um, to get into this office, you break the glass or the uh, the glue that's on the glass. I still don't have any good stuff. Um, but there is a fabricator and a recycler, obviously, in here. Which is convenient to not have to run all the way back to um, Morgan's office. And you have to get the Typhon mods, uh, scanning those, in order to get through this door, or it won't unlock. But it'll explain it to you when you come in. And um, you'll also be able to scan a weaver, which... There it is. Yeah, right over there. I can't, because I already have. But... Okay, so also in here is... 
Dr. Bellamy's body. And I want to see. Okay, yeah. So. <clears throat> oh, that was very loud. To get to Dr. Bellamy's body. See, I can't even get in here. I don't know how I'm supposed to. There's no. Maybe there's an access tunnel that turns out the power and makes the door openable. Um, I'm, I'm not sure, so I'm just going to move on. <clears throat> so I've already really been here before. Um, this show is just, of course, the mimic. You press a button, shows you how the lures work. And then over here, you have another mimic, but I'm pretty sure it's a greater mimic. But um, I don't really know how to get him to do what I want him to do. So. So I can't use the spare parts because uh, of the different mods that I'm taking. I'm not taking the... Uh, human mods, so I won't be able to use them at all. Um, so main story wise, okay, the airlocks, there's I think five of them, and um, it makes it easy to move around in specific areas, but then again it's kind of difficult because with all the enemies out there, it's just kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, so Dr. Bellamy's body. That's why I blew that thing up. Oh, mimic. Oh, nope. Yeah, see, that one hurts. Clear aperture of the reef. Obstruction detected. Please clear aperture of the reef. I'm working on it. Requesting new operator. Um. Transtar Pyramid 490 Medical Class Op. Diagnosing. Losing. Abrasion, fatigue, nothing life threatening. I'll have you feeling better soon. Good as new. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. I really, I really want to fill out a questionnaire, but they, you know, won't let me. So, oh, at least I haven't found one to fill out yet. All right, so let's see. To get to the morgue, we have to go up here. Okay, so what you're looking for is material extraction armory. Hello, Excuse me. No, I, I'm incorrect. Okay, this is where you find the prisoner, which is this dude over here. If you let him out, he'll give you the code to the armory. If you don't let him out, you'll get um, to see him be completely suck dry by mimics which is you know I guess equally as rewarding maybe for some people um the one you really want in order to get to Dr. Bellamy's body is in fact over here it's basically going the opposite way I just went the long way around so this is what you want Okay, and in here there will be um, a body inside there, and uh, you'll have to finish the live experience, uh, experiment before you can go any further on certain sides, but you can do this prior. Um, so you'll come into the morgue, um, be a few mimics and whatnot, but Dr. Bellamy's body is right in there. But when you first come in, 
Oh, even now, actually. Okay, it's usually locked. I got the morgue key, but the morgue key is actually inside the morgue. So all you need to do is make sure you have the bolt caster and you break the window. I think I already did. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Well, you break the window and bam, shoot the button and it makes a cool little squeak noise when you do it. And then you're inside. And you can loot Dr. Uh, Bellamy and all these dudes and the key card for the morgue is here. Um, uh, these were obviously mimic victims. Um, so that's, yeah, that is where Dr. Bellamy's body is. And after completing that, you will get this. Um, which the crew quarters is another one you have to progress through the story in order to get to. Which I'm going to head that direction now. Hopefully this will fix my suit. Okay, so I need to go to the gut system, which I don't know if I've voiced it before, but I'll voice it now. I hate the gut system. It's... Wow, everybody's greeting me, and I don't even see them. Oh, there they are. Just chilling. Um... I think it doesn't matter which way you go on this one. And, uh you'll get to the gut system. Oh, yeah. And since I took Typhon mods, of course, the turrets really don't like me. Which I guess in a way sucks, but... Um... If you play through and take both Typhon and um, Human Mods, you can get the Repair modification and the Hack modification, and you can hack them so that then they're not um, attacking you at every turn. So, I just decided to take only Typhon Mods um, during this playthrough. Because my other, like, like I said before, my other two are human and no type, uh, no mods at all. So I needed something different to do, and that happened to be what I decided. I wish my little fidget spinner was around. Give me something to do while I'm just sitting here during the world street. So the gut system is an anti gravity system. It is a pain in the butt. It's probably oh, okay. Okay. So if I use a recycler, I can pick up these things. So there's a side quest to find a specific person in the gut system, and he's kind of difficult to find. I'll see if I can remember. without having to uh, search for him on the computer. And it, it's not, it's not that guy. Oh, our burrito is where we're going. Uh, assuming it makes an ass of you and me, January. Okay. 
So the only reason I don't like the gut system is because it just, it, the navigation is hard and it's easy to get turned around. So rather than having, um, uh, and the gut system is also where you find the nests. And the nests normally are a pain in the butt, though that operator just took one for the team, so I don't have to deal with it, which is nice. I find this to be the easiest way to deal with the nests, though. I'll show you my little trick that I figured out. So first I'll scan it, if I can. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that one. Okay, so here's a nest, and then, here we go, come on, okay, so, now this is what I do to deal with them. I find it to be the easiest way, and it makes it so you don't waste so much ammo. Bam! They just explode themselves. You don't even have to deal with it. Um, the most you have to do is get them to come out, which is a simple... shot with a glue gun. Ugh, some fucking holes in everything. So, if you shoot them with a glue gun, and cause them to explode. I gotta get out of here. Or I'm gonna not... Oh no! Ooh! Okay, so that's what happens if you don't get out in time. They explode and you get radiation poisoning. So, always a bad thing. I guess I shouldn't have scanned them like I did. I should have done something a little different, but, you know, whatever. The nests give you radiation poisoning, and so do they. Um, so I'm pretty sure I scanned all I needed for those. I don't think they gave me anything. Um, search. Yeah, so I don't need to scan those anymore. Still need to scan these guys and weavers and haven't seen the thermal ones. So I did get it. Okay. So go ahead and grab this and Send it flying. See what happens. See? It's easier than wasting your bullets. It takes two shots or one shot with the with the glue gun and then it takes just one throw of random space junk. Which seems to be a lot better of a choice than just trying to shoot them which can be somewhat um, difficult because they move a lot. Okay, that exploded both of them. And those ones went down. So sometimes they do just explode on their own too. Um, but I definitely wouldn't count on them doing that. Um, because the one time you count on them exploding by themselves is the one time they explode on you. Okay, so send... <laughs> that giant fan looks like a good idea. 
There we go. Okay. So, no, I, I get you a little topsy turvy in here. Um, I don't know the maintenance tunnel key, and I don't have the hacking ability. So instead, I'm gonna take the root of the fan on the side. So these big fans can be stopped by the glue gun, obviously. And um, this one already was stopped. And it gets you to the other side of the maintenance tunnel. Uh, okay, so I didn't really have a chance there to throw anything because they were everywhere. Um, but for this next group, I do. So go ahead and toss that out there, see what happens. It might be too far below. Nope, they got excited. Okay, hmm. So, send that out there, see if they follow it. Mm, I don't know if it's going to make it. Well, that worked pretty well. Okay, so I'm going to grab this med kit. No, I want the glue gun. Okay, so. And of course, since you're in zero gravity, you can base. Yeah, there was one behind me. Oh, shit. Oof. Yeah. This isn't good. Not paying enough attention. Oh, no, well, there's a body. Morgan, steady. That pulse hit your suit systems pretty hard. It came from the substation ahead. There's a magnetosphere around Talos 1 that keeps the sun from cooking your insides. Hopefully the generator isn't dying. For your sake, I'll be fine. Well, thanks, January. It's nice to know you care. Okay, so the part that's coming up is not exactly one of my favorite parts either. Um, there we go. It's kind of a pain. And it's not because of microgravity that it's a pain. You'll see once I get there. Um, I'm going way the wrong way. So I don't know that I even have the. No, I didn't think so. Yeah, this is why. So there's no way to really bypass. Like uh, the fan was an option for the other one. Um, there is no. Bypass for this one, so. Compromise. Let me fix that. Job done. We got to go. So we need to be in the cargo tunnel. So, mm hmm. Is there a way around that? No, of course not. I don't know if I can even shoot it. No, I'm gonna have to just hurry. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Get 
hitting it instead of clapping it. Um, okay, so oh, I guess I can't even grab that. Okay, good to know. Um, okay, there's something I can grab though. How'd that one survive? Okay, so we need to be in the magnetosphere or the magnetosphere or, you know, however you say that. The sphere. Oh, there's a body up there. Oh, yeah, okay, that's how. Okay, so up through. Oh, I see. I got bad motion sickness. You'd think this would be worse, but no, it's I can handle it. Okay, so if I have enough med kits, I'll show you why this is a pain in the butt. Okay, I'll just explain it. So, when you come in here, you get a nice little shock wave. The dude's body that you need for the key card is here. It's that guy. And you gotta go through that little tunnel, which is around here, up those stairs, and you gotta do it all without getting hit by the pulse. If you get hit by the pulse, you could die, especially if you're inside the the main room there. So, warning: plasma shockwave imminent. Langley. Hey, what's the matter? He's warning. he's dead. Whoa, what? Who's dead? Anders. I tried to call security. I tried. Do you need a medical team? I said he's dead, Langley. Right. Laurel, take a deep breath. Tell me what happened. Okay, so okay, we're sorry. gonna go. I'm sorry. Anders went into the mag chamber to test one of the coils that's been flaking on us. I don't know what happened okay, exactly. There's his but body. There was a pulse. Uh, I think it cooked him in his suit. God, I'm so sorry, Laurel. Can you get up to the arboretum? No, Anders had the key card. Okay, got it. Listen, just sit tight. Don't go into that chamber. I'm gonna find Chief Elazar. We'll get a security team your way ASAP. Okay. Now we gotta get out of here. Warning. Plasma shockwave imminent. Oof. Okay. So warning. Seek shelter. Plasma shockwave in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so So that could be more difficult. Um, sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's not. Um, it all kind of depends. So that's where you get the key code. Or the, uh, not the key code, but the, uh, the key card. So now I can go through into the cargo tunnel. Okay, so coming up is that body I was talking about. You're not what they say you are. So I wonder if I'm already a Typhon. Like if they made a copy of me and made me... And the real Morgan's not even alive anymore. Alright, so once you get that key card and get through here, 
You're going to want to go to the right, to the cargo bay. The to be centered around the creation of this substance. The original researchers called it coral. Watch out Beautiful. for the radiation. But we're not sure what its purpose is. It's never spread outside the containment cylinder until now. Okay, so to the right, cargo bay. Just remember cargo bay. Okay, so here we are in a pain in the butt situation. Um, I want to grab something. Hopefully I don't trigger. Okay. Okay. I'm uh, hoping to get them all to pop. That worked out perfect. Okay, the best thing about here is you can orient yourself with uh, these tracks if you just. Uh, do that. You gotta go past the radiation. Oop. And here's why it's a little difficult to find. You, once you get to the bottom of this little tunnel or this little uh, tube, you have to go behind it. There's a room behind it. And in that room is the body of an unfortunate dude who is part of a quest for the um, black box project. Thank you. Which I actually don't. Just go play, okay? Which I actually don't have that particular quest because um, I couldn't get into the the right spot. Sorry, that was my kiddo. He needed help. But you, uh, you get this gun here from them too. I need to um, make space though. I don't have any space. Big is that gun? Oh, that's a big gun. Um, That's four. So I need to get rid of one more thing. I guess we'll go with that. Okay, so. And then we loot this guy. And he... So that's what you get for the Black Barks project. Okay, so now after getting that body, as I like to keep myself oriented. Is that a weaver? I think it is. By spinning myself. Weaver are another set of a pain in the butt. Because I send out them. That worked pretty good, actually. Um, weavers create those, too. So, I think I might have radiation poisonings. Use one of those just in case. Okay. So, where'd that... I want to get rid of that weaver. I want to get out of the gut system. Uh, it's a total pain in the butt. Oh! Shh. Oops. Okay, so there's not just a weaver here. Let's see if we can throw this big old thing at him.
Ugh, this is gonna be a pain. Okay. Scan complete. More specimens required. Technopath! Which explains why I was having machines attack me. I don't know if I have it. <sighs> no, that's not what I want. Mm, I can't get that one either. Um, See if this maybe keeps us safe from this situation. Um, it's one of these. Um, you know what? I just realized I have one of these. I'm gonna use this too. If I can. Oh, come on. Isn't that the greatest thing ever? So this gun is great for enemies like that. You get their health down a little bit, and then you just explode them. But it also is a technical weapon, so it doesn't always work great. Hmm. This weaver's gonna. Ugh. Oh. Okay, I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna leave the weaver for now. And try and get somewhere else. Um, shuttle bay looks good. Normal gravity Ugh. detected. Yeah, okay. Um. Warning, vital signs critical. Okay. I don't have anything to throw at those guys. You know what I do have though? Is that Psy ability. To just blow them up. There. Okay, so... I'm in the cargo bay, which I keep thinking it's not behind me. Is not where I want to be, I don't think. But I'm gonna end this here. Um, showed you, you know, where are the two things that I found last um, last episode were, and um, the body for the. Um, black box project. Uh, so, next one, I'm sure we'll make it to the uh, to the office we need to go. Um, but for now, I'm gonna let you go. Uh, as usual, thank you for watching. Uh, like if you like it, subscribe if you want to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.